sometimes a round wreath just won't do. When you need to up your wreath game, make one in any shape for a truly customizable look. You'll need round reed for basket weaving, a board larger than you want the size of your wreath to be, wood screws, a drill, and a pencil, a basin and water. You may also need paint or stain, a brush, and a drop cloth. First, start filling the basin with water. Add the reeds and continue to fill until the reeds can be fully submerged. They'll want to float, so use something heavy to keep them under. Soak for 45 minutes. While the reeds are soaking, draw your wreath shape on the board with a pencil. Drill screws into the shape. You'll want to place them so they guide the reeds and help them form the shape. I'm also adding two additional screws to secure the reed where I'll be starting from. Once the reeds have soaked for 45 minutes, they'll be extremely pliable. Begin by wedging one end of the reed in between the two screws and gently guide the reed around the outside of the screws. When you get to the end of a reed, use the last two screw lengths and move the reed to the inner side and then back to the outer to hold in place. Start the next reed where the previous one ended and overlapping the previous reed. Continue following the screws around the shape. If you break a reed, don't sweat it. Simply secure the broken end the same way and start again where the break happened. Make several passes around the shape so the wreath has some bulk. I have six layers in mine. Start another reed at the same beginning point and wrap around the layers in a spiral pattern. Do this twice all the way around the pattern. Allow the reed to fully dry before continuing. If the reeds are still damp when you take the screws out, it could alter its shape as it dries. Once fully dry, carefully remove the screws from the board until the wreath is freed. If desired, paint or stain the wreath. I'm using a rose wood stain. It tints the reed while letting the woody texture show through. You can either leave the wreath as is or decorate and display. On the fly, DIY.